Prophet by Angel brags in new video and the internet is not happy. He brags with his bachelor's degrees, master's degrees, PhDs and all that. The internet is like, ah, come on. We don't need all this. But let's see the video. Let's see what he actually did so we can pass our own comments. Let's go into the video. Just maybe you are sitting there. You are thinking this is something that this is a rumpling of a trip which I picked up and pocketed because I didn't go to school. No, I have a BSc in finance. Yeah. And then I did a master's in entrepreneurship. University of Salford, University of Edinburgh. So please, on spirituality, I'm better on education. Don't even talk. I, I don't want to continue with this thing. My CV on this one is too huge. I'm not talking. My curriculum vitae has got my accolades, and I don't have time. It might take a whole service to explain what I did. But I'm telling you now. Maybe you might say, oh, yeah, yeah, but the wife is not learning it. No, masters in business psychology, University of Liverpool. We don't just get married. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? But we have gone beyond it. Yes, and we have looked. Right. What have you done, son? Here is our CEC. What did you, what, 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 what level of education do you do? Uh, I completed a PhD. PhD in what? Economics and social science. Do, do you think his wife is the ambassador for Fiji to Britain? Now, you, you are sitting there. <laughs> is he not a pastor here? So please, with your $200, just listen. And this is where the internet is not really happy. The internet is angry, you know. <laughs> and, you know, people are like, why all this? It's not, it's not necessary. But trust me. It is very important because in Africa, here in Africa, and guys, I, I'm sorry for the video. It seems the video is lagging, right? I'm very sorry. I'll fix that thing ASAP. Let's continue. So uh, it looks like people don't respect a lot of men of God in Africa. And I'm not going to say they are wrong for doing that, but in most cases, they are wrong. Some they could be right with whatever reason that propelled them not to respect one particular man of God. But on the subject of education, we have a lot of men of God coming out of Africa who are not, who doesn't even have basic education. And so this has been a matter of concern. So people, you know, associate these particular things to the fact that people you know, open churches because, or pastors, open churches because they are jobless, they are unemployed, they have not been to school, they don't know what to do, and they are just finding an escape route for them to eat, right? And one important reason why I always want Prophet to voice these things that he's just done out is because people have that mindset about all men of God, most men of God, and that is not true. And so, the audacity has already been given him to do this. So you know, I have one word that I use for all these things he mentioned. Profile. Know my profile. If you know my profile, you put a respect on my name. All right? And so, when he stated what he has done in school, in fact, all the things he's even stated, he's not even stated the qualification he's having, the license he's having to operate as a man of God. He's not even mentioned that yet. But he's telling you that in the corporate world, if you come to him head to head, he will beat you. And that's what he did exactly. And so people who have that mindset that men of God don't go to school. See, master's degree in finance, bachelor's in this. And then the, uh, the wife is having what? Is it master's? Master's in what? Business psychology or something like that. Do you know business psychology? <laughs> I've got, I've got to consult the wife for some business operations, right? 
let's see the health of my business <laughs> okay so see if you are listening to this podcast today right now you are a man of god you are like ah education is not important my brother please have some corporate lifestyle have some you know basic education no even pro- progress upgrade do some real thing if we are calling people to occupy higher positions in the corporate world as a pastor you are supposed to be there because of why why do you want to just be me i only want to be a pastor even where your your area of jurisdiction where you are a pastor okay you are a religious leader even that place the necessary you know certifications that you need to get you are not you don't have them why wouldn't people be on the neck of pastors and christians if you are doing that we need to do the right things i'm just i'm not digressing this topic it's the same we are still on education and so me as a christian doing the right things is what i'm streamlining here in this video as a man of god if you are listening to this podcast right now please don't let the worldly people get to us education is also important so that nobody will come and say um men of god are using church money see this this conversation the video i just showed you eh, was progressed and prophet Angel went ahead to ask the fi- the, uh, the finance uh, personnel in the church she was just in front right there she called it people think we will get money from you know church right okay the last sunday service how many uh um, i said how many how much you know offering did we receive that was offering he didn't mention titans i don't know whether titans was part but the woman said it was less than 100 dollars sorry thousand dollars and prophet is like okay where do we even make our money how are we able to rent these auditoriums for for church service because your thousand dollars is not going to be able to pay for this or even pay for my cars the expenses of my cars and all that do you get what what this all these things are coming from education is important he's gotten this education certification he's an entrepreneur he's a businessman and doing all these things and making his money and so i urge every pastor i urge every religious leader that see your thing is not only about preaching preaching we know you are saying your thing is about me my own The only thing I'm born to do is to preach. The only thing I'm born to do is to prophesy. You are a big liar. You are lying to your congregants. Don't do that. If you do that, there are people who are coming up from the church who also think that, okay, because they can preach one, two, three things, all they are called to do is to preach. That is wrong. Go for education. Educate yourself. You see the beat, right? And so that is what prophet did on sunday broadcast and he was cooked by a lot of people uh what, what, what's happening hey, are we interested in your you know your masters and your degrees and your certifications but trust me it is important and i'm happy he voiced it out because a lot of people are having misconceptions about men of god and the narrative is changing and that is all we need to know my name is Jordan Nixon. i love to break down gospel messages like this make sure you subscribe share like this